Alright, so I want to do a quick little review of the Honda NC700X. Um, this is a great little bike um, if you're not wanting to go real fast. Um, it doesn't have a lot of acceleration. I equate it to like a diesel. It, it's got power, but it's got power throughout the whole band. And it doesn't really just, just want to jerk you off the handlebars. Having said that, uh, it's a great bike for going down fire roads and gravel roads and through the national forest like I'm doing. Talk about some of the weak points of the bike. The standard tires that come with it, the factory tires, are just awful. So I've got a Kenda on the back, and i got to replace the front one. Uh, they are just junk. The chain on this, I've oiled it every time I've taken it out, and it's still rusting. So the chain is just crap. The gearbox on this is kind of, kind of clunky. But it, it shifts and everything, it just doesn't shift real smooth. And that may be I need a little clutch adjustment on it. Uh, I've tried to adjust it once, but it really didn't help it too much. Uh, another thing is this front fender. When it comes, it is not nearly big enough. So I did the fender extension on here. And that seems to be working well. I need to wash it up. Uh, another thing is this bash plate or cover or plastic cover whatever you want to call it isn't worth a crap so at some point I'll probably replace that with something more substantial but you know I am not going off off-road on single track or anything like that I'm just mainly staying on on dirt roads and gravel roads so I, I don't know I may may not the suspension on this bike is a little bit rough stiff it's starting to loosen up a little bit now uh, after I've had it about a year, and uh, it is starting to loosen up a little bit, but uh, at first it was it was just pretty darn stiff. So be aware of that. And I know a lot of people replace the suspensions on them, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into that much. The good points on this bike it's super freaking cheap. Um, you know I bought this bike new, uh, old stock, and I paid uh, I think it was 3,800 bucks for it. So that's with 30 miles on it really really cheap bike but you know it's not not real it's not a BMW quality make either so keep that in mind uh, the brakes the brakes on it are terrible so they'll need to be replaced so that the brakes are not a good good thing they're they're a bad thing but I think once I replace the pads we should be okay because I can see that the pads just aren't very good pads um, but the, the stopping power is okay it, it does all right uh, some of the add-ons, oh, gas mileage is phenomenal on this bike. I rode it an hour and a half to get to this lake that I'm fishing at today, and it was just almost full. It was down one, one mark off full. So I don't know how many miles to the gallon that is. It's got to be close to 80, but it's incredible. Um, yeah, the gas tank, a lot of people don't like it because it is under the seat here. Uh, I, I don't mind it because you don't have to use it that often. <laughs> you don't have to fill it that often. So I, I kind of like it. I don't mind it being there, but I haven't, you know, gone on a lot of camping trips or anything where I've got, you know, packs on there where I'm having to take that off either. But hey, man, you take it off, you fill it up. Uh, the biggest plus on this bike is storage, man. Tell you what, where the gas tank usually is, there is so much storage. I got, you know, my camera stuff in there. I got my fishing stuff, I got phone, uh, just all kind of stuff in there, and I, I just love it. I love all the storage. I went and aftermarket got the windshield, which is a Madstad windshield. I love that thing. It's got the little air deflectors here, which keeps bugs and stuff off of you. And then a guy was selling these, uh, I got those for about $275. I know they're pretty pricey, so I think I got a pretty good deal on them. But man, there's just a ton of freaking storage on this thing. Hell, I could take everything in the kitchen sink if I want it, if I want to go camping. Uh, right now I got my fishing poles all tied down. I'm going to another spot on one of the little rivers around here. There's a quarter corridorway river that's not very far from here. I want to see if I can't catch some smallmouth out of there. But uh, overall, I got 5,000 miles on it, and other than the tires and the chain, man, I, I really like this bike. I really do. 
because I'm not I'm not wanting to peel out and pop wheelies I just want to get there and get good gas mileage doing it and have power when I need to go up hills and stuff and man this thing's got it uh, it's almost impossible to stall this bike out I mean you let out on a clutch and the bike will literally tractor forward it's just like a little diesel motor or a little tractor uh, it's got power at the very bottom of the power band all the way up through it's very linear uh, so if that's what you're looking for man this is the bike for you uh, I plan on taking it on quite a few cross-country camping trips and stuff so uh, but again I do a lot of riding also in the Mark Twain National Forest and for me this bike is just perfect for that it's not real heavy uh, it's very gyroscopic and very upright when you're riding it I mean it's uh, a lot of bikes are that away with the bigger tires but you would if you fell off this bike it would go for 10 miles before it fell over on its side so Anyhow, uh, that's my review of this bike. Uh, I will, I've had no mechanical issues with it so far, except for tire, you know, the back tire. Um, but I will uh, give you another update, maybe at 10,000 miles, and see where we're at there. Um, but again, so far, so good. Thank you for watching. Take care, and subscribe to my channel if you get the chance. Thanks. Bye.